In a strongly worded response, Namanje demands that Falyun and associates remove what he considers to be a notice placed on e-justice before the end of business today. He warns that failure to remove it will force his client to approach the Supreme Court. Namanje's letter also cautions Menzies Aviation Namibia against making any additional allegations or comments on Tuesday's judgment. He expressed concern that Menzies Aviation filed an application with 100 paragraphs while allowing his client less than 30 minutes to prepare and file an answering affidavit after receiving their notice to oppose. Namanje highlights the fact that there is a pending judgment before Justice Suetile. Judge Elin Rakao last Tuesday dismissed with costs an application by the British-owned company that sought to interdict and declare null and void the agreement entered into between the Namibia Airport Company and Paragon Investment Holding joint venture with Ethiopian Airlines for the provision of ground handling services at the Hosea Kutako International Airport. The costs include the cost of one instructing and two instructed counsel in favor of the first respondent, i.e. the NAC, and the costs of two legal practitioners in the case of the second respondent, which is Paragon Investments. He asserts that Menzies Aviation Namibia should bear the costs, including the cost of one instructing and two instructed counsel in favor of the first respondent, the NAC, as well as the cost of two legal practitioners for the second respondent, Paragon Investments.